Hello, this is Vivian from HL7 Starter School. Um, I wanted to share a tip with you. As an HL7 integration engineer, I, I've often needed to use the tool called Notepad++. And um, Notepad++ is a Windows application. And so it doesn't really run on Mac. But to my surprise, I found out that you can run it on Mac. So this is quick, quick. Um, so this is a quick summary on how I did it. How I'm using Notepad++ on my Mac. So I did some research and I found this article. If I can still find it here. And here it tells you how to run Notepad++ on a Mac using an application called Wine. And so that's how I did it. It's an application called Wine. I can show you real quick here. So the first thing I did was download Wine, which you can find here. dl.winehq.org or Google it. Then when I downloaded Wine, I got a pop-up that said you need exports to .77 or above. So there was actually a pop-up. So then I said, I don't know what exports is. So I, I Googled exports and I saw um, that it's an X11 and that it's actually an open source tool managed by Apple. So it is something um, that Apple is maintaining and the open source community is maintaining and Apple is making sure that it, this tool continues to be developed for the Mac OS. So then I downloaded Xquartz and I installed that. And then once Xquartz was installed, it asked me to log out and log back in. I did log out and log back in. And when I logged back in, now knowing I had Xquartz installed on the Mac and knowing that Apple was, you know, involved and it was a valid tool, um, I installed WineHQ. And then once I installed WineHQ, I didn't know where it was, so I did a search on my Mac for Wine. And by the way, I downloaded Wine Stable. There are a couple different versions. I made sure I did Wine Stable. So here's Wine Stable. So when you open Wine, you get this window, and it tells you what you need to do. You need to either run a program, or the instructions on that site say to see the instructions are right here. Download the installer, double click it. It says go to Win C Win Config to create your fake C drive, like a Windows. But I didn't have to do that. It looked like it already was. So when I I just typed it. So when you load the one, one configuration, this is what it looks like. Libraries, graphics, I'm not really sure what this stuff means, but what I did do is turn on... When I came into the drive, I saw that my C drive was already built, and so I didn't end up building that. Um, and then I was like, okay, so now how do I download... How do I run Notepad++? Plus plus? Not here. In applications. This is how I figured it out. I clicked Add Application thinking I could add Notepad++, but it didn't work out that way. What I noticed here instead was the path to my Drive C. And I said, oh, okay, that's how my, that's how, that's where Wine puts Windows. Users, my name, dot Wine, Drive, dot C. But in order to see dot Wine, I had to select an option in here somewhere that had said, Show dot files, yeah. I had to click show dot files because that was off. Because it, it, I, I couldn't find my dot wine. So when I came in here, I went go to folder, users, descending, and I went dot wine. And I click go, and now I'm looking at the same thing in here. Here's my drive C. I created a folder called apps, and I put notepad in there. Then I went to wine. Here we go. So once you open up Wine, you want to type Wine and then give it this argument to your parameter, the full path to your installer. And again, 
you, I put the installer in my drive C. My drive C. Is in user descending dot y. Cool. And I just hit enter here. And it, it it's so cool. It just started installing Notepad, just like looks just like Windows, but I'm on my Mac. So that's how I did. And I went to the prompts, I installed Notepad plus plus, and I was like, oh, cool, awesome. Now how do I run it? Um. So let me show you how to run it. I'm gonna hit kids because I already installed Notepad. Okay, so now that we have installed Notepad++ um, through the Wine program on our Mac, let's launch it. So the way I launch it is I search for Wine on my Mac, and it's called Wine Stable. I open Wine Stable up, and I get this window, the terminal window. Um, you want to type, just like it says right here, Wine and the program name. Now, the program name means the full path. So for me, it's wine, and you want to use quotes because if there's spaces or funny um, symbols in the path, you're going to get an error. So you always want to wrap your path around with quotes, just like Windows. And I'm going to hit enter, and I get a problem. Uh, yeah, one second. I copied and pasted, and it doesn't like my quotes, so I'm going to manually put the quotes in. See how different the quotes look when they copy versus typed. That's the problem. So you have that issue. Just type the quotes in and don't copy them, and you should be fine. Except you only want to put wine in here once. There it is. And that's it. That's all we get is a nom using Notepad++ and Mac. Oh my god, it's so cool. Without VMware, you know, without having to have uh, all that stuff set up. VMware is not even cheap anyway, VMware Fusion. So that's it. I want to show you that quick and awesome. I'm using Notepad++ uh, on my Mac. Alright, thank you. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Let me know if you have any issues. I'll put the link below to that article. This article that shows you how to do it. And have a good day. Bye.